them. License plates are no more than a way to identify their car. But now they're art with a purpose to potentially help the many lives who put their lives on the line. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has this week's street story. This started with one license plate in a basement and now fills a store and fulfills a goal. The plates come from around the country and are now sold around the world. After they're cut, bent, crafted into various shapes and sizes. It's not just license plate art. You know, we're telling a story through the license, through license plates. This customer came to her temporary pop-up shop to tell a story with the 40 plus euro plates that were on her father's car. We're That's very awesome. fond of my father who passed oh. and I've got his old plates. The two metal rectangles will be transformed into something softer. I just saw the hearts, but I was wondering if you could do something bigger. And it's just a way, a unique way to pay him tribute. And that's their way of remembering dad. This started six years ago with one plate she sculpted for a friend and has grown into a thriving business that now buys thousands of expired plates to keep up with the demand. When you're making that first plate, did you have any idea it would get this big? I had no idea. Never intended it and quite frankly didn't want it, but here we are. And I love, I'm now loving every second. She tells us this is not just about building a business. Her husband is retired military. Her first full-time employee is retired National Guard. And many of their customers are military as well, looking for a unique way to remember home or their journey from base to base. And I want to be able to give back to the veteran community and also military spouse communities. People miss that. So they can come here, we get it, you know, we know what it's like. You know, it's a little different than, you know, work, you know, working at an office or something when no one really understands what you went through, what you could be going through. So, yeah, I mean, my vision is right with her is just to employ as many as possible. Meeting people, it's hearing their stories. That's what keeps me inspired and wanting to do more. The pop-up shop will be open until the 23rd of December. Then they take their license plate act on the road. More on that part of the story on WPRI.com. In Warwick, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.